When you think of water, what comes to mind? Perhaps a nice cool glass of water, a fun trip to the beach, or maybe in a fun swim with all your friends during the summer. But what about how the water is to the sea life? This is Walter the Whale, and he is on his way for his afternoon swim. On his swim, he notices all these weird things at the bottom of the ocean, and they've never been there before. He wonders what they are. He notices a bunch of plastic and tin bottles all over the sea floor. He also notices this thing that floats and looks like a jellyfish. He notices these big wheels that he see on vehicles covering the ocean floor. He even notices a big cart. Walter's also noticing a lot more of this black substance floating around in his ocean. He doesn't like it because it's hard for him to move, see, and swim. He's also heard stories of his friends that got stuck in it. Like Walter's friend right here, he's covered with it. Walter also notices his ocean is really beginning to smell and it's hard to see. water cycle and you might wonder what does it have to do with water pollution but think about all that garbage you see lying on the floor and how it washes into the ocean and can't evaporate there has been so much debris washed up on shores and now a lot of groups are coming out on beach cleanups to help pick up all the mess that is left behind How does this affect the ocean life? Well, common sea animals see garbage and mistake it for food. Or sometimes they get stuck in it. How does this affect us though? Most oxygen on this planet is produced by ocean life. And the air they produce, we breathe to run, jump, swim, talk, live. So just think. You wouldn't want to bathe in this. Then why should the marine life? 